We've also got um, Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan now uh, with their new documentary, which has yeah. come out this very morning, right? Indeed. And, Tell uh, us. I think we've got video, I hope it's all set up, uh, of Harry uh, revealing that he unravelled after returning from Afghanistan, his oh. tour of duty there, his courageous tour of duty there. Let's uh, uh, give praise where it's due. Yeah. Um, and uh, he got back and he said memories of his tragic mother, Princess Di, came flooding back. Uh, and he was plunged uh, into a mental health crisis mm. and ended up in a fetal ball on the floor. Oh, have really? we got this video ready? Let's uh, play shall we, it. Shall we have a look? The trauma that I had, I was never really aware of. It was never discussed. I didn't really talk about it. And I suppressed it like most youngsters would have done. But then when it all came fizzing out, I was bouncing off the walls. I was like, what is going on here? I'm now feeling everything as opposed to being numb. The biggest struggle for me was the people that no one around me really could help. I didn't have that support structure, that network, or that expert advice to identify what was actually going on with me. Unfortunately, like most of us, the first time you really consider therapy is when you're lying on the floor in the fetal position probably wishing that you dealt with some of this stuff. Interesting. Um, we haven't seen him talking like this for a while, not since the last yeah. time he did one of these um, kind of, yeah. you know, this is what I was going through yeah. type yeah. things. I'm not clear, it's not clear what age he was when he was talking about this. Well, he's it? talking about when he came back from Afghanistan. So, so it's, 20s? It's, yeah, it would have been that, wouldn't right. it? Um, but when he says, he didn't, 20s, have, yeah, when he, like says he didn't have any anything around him, I mean, yeah. well, that's not entirely true, is it? I mean, you know, as I say, you, you have to be careful here. You've got to respect him. This guy uh, served his country, came back. He obviously went through some sort of mental health crisis, as I said earlier. Mm. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> This constant bleating about no one was there to help me, mm. poor, poor me. I mean, no one in that entire world uh, was or is in a more privileged position mm. than him. No one could call for more help yeah. than someone like him. You know, the royal right. family, you know, if they get a headache, mm. uh, 56 doctors yeah. turn up. So, uh, you know... It's, it's not this... like he has to ring the GP at 8 o'clock in the morning and yeah. try to get through so you can get an appointment that yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. All, all, all due sympathy for the trouble he obviously went through and no one would ever laugh about him losing his mother or anything like that. No, of course that. not. But he does have this tendency to portray himself as, you know, the world's most mm. put-upon victim. He does. And now, I think that's, that's a bit the problem. Irritating. I think that's the problem, because, I mean, we do this every Friday. We do Veterans Voice, uh, myself and Hugh Andre. We mm. talk to, you know, an awful lot of people who have been in the armed forces, who suffered PTSD, yeah. who've had all manner of terrible things that they've seen mm. that they could never forget. You know, so I'm sure that if you're a serviceman, you're listening to Harry talking about uh, how he couldn't recover from that uh, because he didn't know how to do deal with it that might ring a bell with some yeah, people yeah. but he of all people was in a position to get help. Yes, exactly. Right? Uh, and, and then to sort of complain that I just wasn't and I didn't get any help. Well, as I say, as a member of the royal family, all you've got to do is call for help. So mm. I broke my finger now. Yeah. Uh, there'll be three surgeons yes. there in three minutes. Well, you just ring a little bell, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so, so, so the, you know, the, the fact that he, he felt helpless, I suppose that's a personal feeling, but the fact that he was helpless, I think, is pretty dubious mm. because people would come in to help him. And the other thing I suppose that people will say is that, OK, it's one thing to unburden yourself to a therapist, it's one thing to unburden yourself to your family, but why does he have to unburden himself to Netflix? Yeah, because it makes a better movie, Ooh. that's why. And it's maybe it makes, uh, it makes a contract I mean, that you've already sell, signed. That, 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 without wishing to sound too cynical, that will sell very well. Yes, and, this is their and new, Harry knows it. This is their new documentary, which is about <laughs> the Invictus game, right? Yeah, which is coming out, I think, today. Yeah. Uh, so, so he might, I mean, it might also have some resonance with yeah, the people yeah. who are taking part in the Invictus Games, who are all ex service men and yeah. women, uh, who may have had some kind of trauma yeah. while they were uh, yeah. standing on the front line. I mean, we often laugh at him, but no one's laughing at him now. This is not uh, a matter for humour, but uh, as I say, uh, it is this constant, oh, poor me, 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 I'm a victim, I'm a victim. Uh, and th that isn't to say that he hasn't had his troubles, but it is, it does rings a bit hollow well, from me, one of the me... most privileged. Let me take a, 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 a view from a tweet that I've got. Yeah. I don't even know if you call them tweets anymore, do you? Yeah. Posts, right? the, yeah, Meta, Posts. Meta and X, forget it. Everyone yeah. says Facebook and Twitter. Yes. Uh, this is from Chloe, who says, I don't want to hear about how poor Didham's Harry was affected by his Afghan tour. The man-child had access to psychiatrists on speed dial, the best support available, unlike his fellow veterans, pathetic, self-indulgent, navel-gazing psycho babble. Well, this is what I'm saying. This is how people may well react to that. And what to that uh, person I would say you Probably. may well think that but we couldn't possibly comment